Hi, my name is Chris. I'm an ecosystem manager at Software AG. And today I would like to show you how to connect your E1 Flexi 205 uh, to Cumulosity IoT. But to start off with, um, it's probably the best to visit Software AG's device partner portal. And I've prepared some steps that we will go through. At first, we will download the connector um, using this URL. Um, there you can find the Flexi Cumulosity connector and some additional documentation. Afterwards, we will um, customize the configuration file um, that needs to be deployed on the E1 Flexi. We will store the files on the E1 Flexi, then add a registration entry on Cumulosity IoT, define tags on the Flexi that will be sent as measurements, um, then in the end, restart the Flexi and um, register and accept the registration request. And uh, if we did all that, uh, we are basically done with connecting the Flexi. And now we can start analyzing the data that's flowing in and sending operations to the Flexi. So let's um, visit the device partner portal. And search for the E1 Flexi. which is an HMS networks device that is pre-certified with the following integration scope, alarms, device configuration, events, firmware management, measurements, restart, shell commands. So we start by looking at the quick start guide. And this is basically all that we are going to do now, work through the quick start guide. Um, there's some additional information about the integration itself. It's the connector is based on um, the MQTT integration. And here you can find the um, link to the GitHub repository where the connector is stored. And um, we will be using the latest release and download the corresponding zip file. This takes a second. I've also previously downloaded this, so let's just use that one. I copy that to the desktop into the Flex Agent folder, and let's unpack it. And you can find the necessary files under Target. There we have the Flexicumulosity connector 1.2 full, and which is a jar file. And also we have the starting files, which uh, are the JVM run and the Cumulosity connector config. So um, let's adjust the Cumulosity connector config. So our Flexi um, will be correctly connecting with Cumulosity. So um, this is how the file looks like. You can configure the connector and you can configure the um, yeah, destination where the connector is going to connect to. Um, there are some fields that are going to be automatically filled in. Um, and there are some fields that you need to fill in. Um, for example, bootstrap username, host, bootstrap password, and the bootstrap tenant. In most cases, when the Cumulosity instance is hosted uh, by Software AG, um, the correct values to fill in will be these ones. Um, if you are wondering which are the correct values for you, um, please feel free to open a ticket at getsupport.softwareag.com, or um, these credentials are also part at the public documentation. So if you search for bootstrap credentials, Cumulosity IoT, you will also find them in our tech forum. So there are various ways how to get them. Um, yeah, I've um, filled these values in. And um, it's important, for example, for the host to add the MQTT dot, the URL, um, so the connector knows that it should be using the MQTT APIs. And um, yeah, this is the configuration file, basically. So as a next step, we will be um, yeah, storing the files using um, a FTP 
uh, connection. So to do that, by, um, I need to connect via VPN to the E1 Flexi and then establish the connection to the device. And um, drop the JVM run. The Flexi Cumulosity connector. And of course, the configuration file into the user folder. So now basically the files are there. We can disconnect from our device. Um, and we can then set up some uh, values on our device. So let's connect to the UI of the E1 Flexi. I've also prepared yeah, two example values. Um, let's look at how I configured them. As I'm using the IoT starter kit, I have the simulation extension card the simulator extension card, and I have some analog input of a potentiometer, and I have plugged in also a yeah, breadboard with a temperature sensor, uh, which are wired to the additional analog input. And as you can see, some values are flowing in. Um, it's not the most accurate sensor, but it does deliver some values. And um, in order for the data to flow to Cumulosity, you need to enable the historical logging. And um, by this, you can define the sensitivity of the measurement. So for example, if the measurement is just varying a little bit, you can uh, disregard these changes by selecting a value. So it's basically something like a hysteresis. Um, and you can select the logging interval. I've set it to one second. And you have to. Um, um, assign it to um, either of these groups. Um, these are the requirements uh, for the connector to detect if the measurements should be sent to Cumulosity or not. So the historical data logging and the groups. And uh, as a next step, um, you will be um, yeah, entering a registration um, entry. So this will be always in the same uh, syntax. So we will enter HMS minus flexi minus the serial number of the device. In my example, this is the following 2211 minus 24. So this is the registration request. And then we can simply execute a reboot. This will take a, a while. So um, I'll be back. Um, you don't need to wait until the device has been rebooted. OK, now, as we can see, the device rebooted. And um, we are now able to um, hit the Accept button. And now, under All Devices in the Device Management tab, um, after a second, um, there will be the E1 Flexi device. So there it is already. It registered itself um, and described itself um, using a name, a type, and uh, described the connector itself that we used. We used the E1 Flexi Cumulosity connector with this version uh, that can be found on GitHub. And also, it, um, we are using this um, firmware. And uh, my hardware is yeah, can be described as exactly these values. So when we investigate the measurements, we can see that there are already measurements flowing in. So let's look at the last minute of our potentiometer values. Um, OK, so now we can see the values increased to yeah, approximately 10. So I think I missed, I missed a zero when scaling it. Um, but um, yeah, you can see data is flowing in. Also for the temperature, we see, um, I mean, there's some fluctuation, but uh, some data is flowing in. So that's that's good. I mean, that's just an error of my um, temperature sensor. So we can also um, manage the firmware. 
manage the software and uh, set the required availability. So when we perceive the device will be offline. So if it sent anything within the last minute, I consider it to be online. So let's set it to one minute. And we can also send some shell commands. Yeah, also, um, as you can see, there are some two, there are two values that are automatically being added. Uh, one is the connector halt, and the other one is the cumulosity uh, measurement enable. These ones are um, in place to um, change the behavior of the agent. For example, if we set the value to zero for the cumulosity, me cumulosity measurement enable, uh, the, the measurements would stop flowing in. So that was it for my quick um, introduction, how to connect an E1 Flexi device with Cumulosity IoT. If you would like to see more, um, comment then under the video. And if you're missing something, also comment that I've uh, inserted the most useful links in the uh, description of the video. And please feel free to um, let us know if that was helpful for you and uh, have fun connecting your E1 Flexi. If you like the video and want to see more learning content, please visit the link down in the description below. After registration, you can access the Cumulosity IoT learning material, which is free of charge.